Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So just as of a few hours ago, Working Money Channel has now reached over 20,000 subscribers. I just wanted to take a moment to thank all you guys for uh, watching the videos, for subscribing to the channel. You know, I do this channel because I love it, uh, but more importantly, I do it every day because I know so many of you love the videos, love hearing a different perspective maybe on XRP and uh, the market as a whole. So uh, just again, thank you guys for that. Also, I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, a couple of viewers who I uh, met yesterday at the pub in Toronto. Thanks so much to Dan and Kat for watching the channel, coming out and meeting me. Uh, it was really great meeting you guys yesterday, so uh, thanks again. But I know what's on everybody's mind today. Look at that crypto market. Market capitalization up over 200 billion. It's at 206 billion just over that and everything in the green bitcoin up 7.69 ethereum 9.47 xrp 4.56 percent and everything look at everything's just a sea of green uh i went down here and i was looking at some other coins that weren't doing so well and what happened to arc block the 99th coin on coin market cap down 27.24 percent wouldn't want to be an arc block holder today uh nevertheless most of the cryptocurrency market is doing really really well uh and bitcoin wow look at it move just look at it move had a super bullish week and uh what i was saying was we were going to vacillate in this zone here and right now it is so far almost hit 7,000. it went over the 6800 mark uh topped out at uh, just over 69 it was at 69.64 and so guys this is a great sign that the market as a whole is rebounding we need bitcoin to keep moving in order for us to make money on altcoins i.e xrp or whatever alt you may be holding and so we're all looking at bitcoin on a rebound we're all uh pretty happy i don't know if some of you guys might own some bitcoin maybe some of you guys are thinking well you know i don't own a bitcoin but i own some other coins and i really want to start seeing gains for my other coins when am i going to start seeing the significant gains to other alternative cryptocurrencies other than bitcoin well again guys everything is up so we should all just be happy that we're seeing some gains at this moment in time okay the crypto market is an interesting thing uh we have to kind of take what we can at the moment and uh just you know continue to root for bitcoin over the long haul because ultimately that is what will make altcoins soar in a spec market leading up to regulations uh once regulations come into play we will start seeing big players enter the market in terms of trading uh cryptocurrency so i'm not talking about real world utility i'm not talking about ripple being adopted and cryptocurrency being adopted in that regard for cross-border transactions uh that is the second prong effect but if we just focus on the market and even if regulations weren't on the table right now let's say it was still 2016 or whenever and uh, regulations were still far far away way uh we we will still make money in this market because to me when i see this this is the beginning of something really really great now i know in uh, previous videos i've said that we were going to see bitcoin vacillating in this zone here and uh right now you're probably looking at this and it's like well it's just going to keep going up and uh shooting up so is that possible uh could it correct down so I mean right now yeah we are we are doing fairly well it's up here what i could see though i mean and i know a lot of people probably don't want to hear this we could start seeing this kind of emotion or even this right before we start seeing an uptrend and i know a lot of people will probably start to panic once we see some losses but realistically guys we need a few down days in order to continue with this healthy trend let me show you uh if we go back to bitcoin here and uh you got to go back you got to look at the historical behavior of bitcoin so let's just go back here and so uh this was the last really big parabolic bull run that we saw for bitcoin back in 2013 uh and then we saw something similar as we saw in 2018 which was a down market for most of 2014 uh and half of 2015 before we started to see a rebound so you know that cup formation that we're seeing uh let me just bring i really should have two charts but see how there's this cup formation we saw the down and now we're seeing the up uh we saw some basing down in here kind of bottomed double bottomed and then it went back up uh guys we we technically already saw that back in 2015 and so uh i know it doesn't look completely similar but ultimately this is kind of the same kind of pattern or similar at least to what we are seeing today so uh let me just erase that for now um 
And what did we see here? So we saw, what, what did we see? Let me see if I can just get a, where is it? Price range here. So uh, what happened here? This was the price range uh, from that time that Bitcoin needed to break when it was down here, when we saw it vacillating. And uh, what did we see? Well, we saw it breach this mark, okay? It breached it here, roughly. Uh, went all the way up to uh, about, how much did it go to? A high of 500, 502. So hit a psychological barrier, 500, big round number, great. Correct it again. And then it took a while. So let me just draw you this so it's a little bit easier to kind of see. Uh, it took a while. So like I'm trying to match this. Whoops, no, that's not what I want. I want price range. Uh, it took a while for it to break out of that zone okay so i'm just trying to kind of match up here if you guys can kind of get a sense of trying to match this up to this up okay so if you look here it breached that uh, top up here so breached the top then came right back down uh into this uh support level here okay retraced and then started moving back up couldn't find new buyers to keep uh, the momentum going upward came back down and then we saw we started to see a little bit of uh if you look down here there's lower volume right so some evening out buyers and sellers kind of agreeing on a price uh before we really started to see another move up here so uh ultimately this is all i'm saying uh is that what could happen uh, just to kind of get give you guys a realistic perspective on this i know you just want to keep seeing it go i know i know so do i ultimately right we all just want to start seeing it continue to rise but realistically guys what we could see is it uh, maybe even breaching this level here, which is around 7,400 approximately? Okay, we could see it go as high as that and then come back down uh, and then vacillate in this level, as I've been saying before we start to see the movement go back up. Now, when I go back to that, how long did that take? How long are we going to see, uh, potentially, I'm not saying this is going to happen for sure, but how long are we going to see this vacillating movement before we see another move up? So uh, this took from October 2015 all the way to May 2016. So seven months, okay? Uh, do you wanna wait seven months for Bitcoin to go higher than 7,000? Well, no, none of us really wanna keep waiting that long, but uh, ultimately guys, if it means for the bull run to continue, I would rather wait seven months for Bitcoin to keep going higher than continuing to have unsustainable highs and then to be in a bear market again for another year. What are your thoughts on that? Think about it logically, <laughs> okay? And so what does this mean for XRP? Well, uh, you know, right now we are starting to see some gains. And guys, let's not forget that uh, other cryptocurrencies that are at a lower price point like XRP, it only takes a 30 cent move to make 100%. Whereas for Bitcoin, it uh, takes, or at least from today, it'll take another $6,800 move for Bitcoin to go to 100%. Back in December, that number was 3,200 uh, when Bitcoin was trading at all time low. So uh, about 30, let's call it 3,200 approximately. So for Bitcoin to do 100%, it would have needed to make another $3,200 move, which it has. And now it has exceeded that Bitcoin is already up over 112% since December, since all time low here. Uh, and so is it still a good time to get into cryptocurrencies? Well, I would suggest, yeah, even if you wanted to get into Bitcoin, but guys, look at these prices for some of these. XRP still trading at 31.3. We know it's last and fast. So that is a really good thing to remember too. Also the utility behind XRP, real world utility, mass adoption. Again, guys, I could see this market really taking off once cryptocurrency regulation becomes clear as day. We could see a huge bull run um, just based on that news alone, not even the real world utility. So, and of course I'm not a financial advisor, so obviously do your own research. I'm just telling you what I'm doing, uh, but what I'm doing is making sure I have enough XRP in order to hit some target points uh, once we see that movement really start to fly. Another thing that's a little off topic today, but I thought it was really, really cool. Crypto dash XRP, that's at crypto underscore dash XRP, uh, sent me this in a private message here from Amazon. Wave and Ripple coloring book. Release date, May 20th, 2019. So the wave of Ripple is moving and look who the author is, guys. Satoshi Nakamoto. Could we see an XRP wave crashing in on May 20th? It's anybody's guess, but I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. 
Thanks for subscribing, guys. 20,000. And we'll see you in the next one.